Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. And welcome to a special contestant edition of In Five Minutes or Less with Peter Silva. And today... Oh, we're going to show you not me this time, but my contestant, Paul Pindell, a solution architect with F5 Networks. Paul, how do you feel today? I'm feeling very good. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. So I've had this idea for a little while now. Typically, it's me against the clock. And I've always had this idea that maybe I'd, you know, bring in some of the F5ers to see if they can beat the clock on the in five minutes or less. And so today... Paul is going to show you in five minutes or less, basically how to configure, how to set up the PC OIP proxy for the VMware Horizon View. So PC OIP native support that's available in Big IP Access Policy Manager version 11.4. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. Let's go. So like I always do. So let's start the clock. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is actually configure view specifically to make sure that it can handle this, this traffic with the PC over IP proxy. We're going to disable, make sure that these three checkboxes in the connection server settings are, are, checked, are unchecked. So that's done there. And so that's unchecked because the big IP is now taking care, IP, handling that. Yep, big IP is taking care of that. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to create a pool. That pool will be your connection service pool. You'll add members to it. And, you know, just like you would normally. And you're going to add 443 members here. Got it. That's all you're going to do. Next thing you're going to do is create an access uh, policy. Make sure that you've got your certificates on the box and all that stuff. And yep. we'll talk about that in a minute, how you, how you specify those. But make sure you got those on there. Make sure you've also got an Active Directory um, uh, solution here so yep. that you've tied into that. We create an access profile. That access profile here is view 5.2. Uh, make sure you choose English. If you're using English, we'll open up that policy and we'll talk about it. So the VPE is a great way to um, to visually see what it is you're doing in policy. So you'll add a client type box. You'll notice VMware View is one of the client types. You'll click the plus box. You'll add a view logon page. That view logon page will you'll choose in our environment. We're choosing Windows password. You could choose RSA if you wanted to, or create a disclaimer message of the day. Mm -hmm. You enter your NetBIOS domain name here and click save. Next is you click the plus item and you grab an AD auth box. Choose you enter your uh, AD domain there, yep. your information there, so you can log into it. And then you want to create an advanced resource assign. This advanced resource assign will have a remote desktop and a web top in it. We've created those earlier, so I'll show you those now. So far, so good, Paul. All right, so we'll see how we do. So we we create a web top. That first web top is a uh, it's a full web top. So you create that. You choose full. Um, update that. The other thing you're going to want to do is create access policy. Where are my network application access? Sorry, remote desktops. Remote desktops. We create a remote desktop. Again, we call it an access profile here, and it points to the pool. The pool that you're doing, um, that you're pointing to. And you'll notice when we create the, the virtual server that we don't specify a default pool because it's the policy that's taking care of that. Okay. So you've got that there. You enable auto logon. You enable the server side SSL. And uh, you're good to go. Okay. All right. So we've got an access profile. We've got a web top. We've got a remote desktop. Next thing you need to do is actually go into local traffic and create a profile, SSL, server side profile. And this is important. Um, this server side profile is I created here this View 5.2 server SSL profile. One of the things you're going to have to make sure that you do is here in this server name field, you've got to enter PC over IP dash default dash SNI. That's what you got to do for this. You base it off of the server SSL profile. Got that profile. Earlier, I'd created a uh, a client side profile as well. That client side profile is using my wildcard certificate for this environment and chain certificates, all that stuff. Great. Next thing you do is you're going to create two virtual servers, an HTTPS virtual server. That virtual server is going to point to uh, whatever you're using for a DNS name on the outside. It's 443 HTTP profile. Make sure you get your, your client side profile, again, in my wildcard, and your server side profile that can that includes the server 
uh, field that says PC over IP dash default dash SNI. Mm. Also, auto map. And let's see, one more thing that's very important. Where, oh, where did it go? Down here, this BDI and Java support box. Make sure you check that box and you get the access profile and the connectivity profile. And again, we're not specifying a pool here. That's being done in, in the policy. Yep. Oof, 45 seconds. Let's see if we can do it. Next thing we do is we go and create. The whoa, 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 whoa. I'm the host. Oh. <sighs> 37 seconds to go. Okay. <laughs> Next, you create the UDP-based um, virtual. Same address, 4172. Make sure you choose that same BDI and Java checkbox. Yep. Um, SNAT, if you need it, all that good stuff. Make sure you choose it as a UDP. And you're ready to go. You click update when you're done, and, and there you go. When you go to connect, we can go connect. we got a client here. You open that client. You click connect. Log in with a password, and we'll be presented a desktop. Oh, can we do it? Do you hear that in the background? You still did it. We'll give it to you. On the box, and you get yourself a, a desktop. Beautiful. Through the big IP. I now need... A soda or something? My mouth is parched. That was pretty fun, wasn't it? It was. It was. So there you have it. PC, native PC OIP support. Industry first. Industry first. And this is available on our Big IP Access Policy Manager version 11.4 in five minutes or less. Or, just or slightly more. I, you know, I can I can mess with a timer, so it looks like it can, but we never do that on this game show. Great stuff, Paul. That was awesome. Excellent for my first contestant. I'm gonna have to get you a, uh, you know, some F5 squishy ball, autograph it, and then um, get okay. it to you. How's that some, sound? Some lovely parting gift. Yeah. Okay. Gift. And the and the home edition of the of the countdown clock. How's that? <laughs> oh, that was fun. So for Paul, I'm Peter, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.